Okay, we're in the Stockholm World Water Week with someone. Can you show your name badge okay. to the camera? This way. Yeah, exactly. And tell us about yourself and who you work with. My name is Samuel C. I'm the Prab River Basin Officer, uh, working with the Water Resources Commission of Ghana, uh, in charge of overseeing the implementation of Integrated Water Resources Management Plan for the basin, in direct collaboration with key stakeholders. Okay, and um, what, what are you doing here in the conference? Uh, at the conference, I'm active in areas that relate to my job schedule, uh, learning and sharing okay. to get more insight and technical skill development to implement uh, at my work. Okay, and what are the bigger challenges at your work in Ghana? Yeah. Uh, Integrated water resources management in general, one of the cardinal principles is that you should work with stakeholders. Mm -hmm. And one of the key stakeholders is communities that are hosting these river bodies. Okay. Their active participation and collaboration will determine the success mm -hmm. of our targets. And that is a challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, indigenous communities in, in the area, my area of operation or jurisdiction, mm -hmm. uh, the way people perceive people's attitude and mindset towards water is a bit challenging. Mm -hmm. People still see rivers as large drains that should carry any debt away. Yeah. And their consciousness is still not there that what you do at a particular location upstream will affect somebody midstream or downstream. Mm. And so there's a need to raise awareness, consciousness on everybody's involvement and participation to help sustain or maintain the ecological integrity of water bodies. That is a key challenge, especially in the rural areas. When you come to urban centers, in urban centers, the key challenge is the rate of development and pattern. Mm -hmm. People will prefer to build new houses close to where there's development already. And so, imagine houses and especially churches, places mm -hmm. of worship, mm -hmm. trying to fit into city places, are being built in water courses, in wetlands, mm -hmm. in, in, in river places. Mm -hmm. So. When that happens, they tend to fill lowlands with new soil. <clears throat> in that case, if it rains a little bit, the river is looking for a place to divert. Mm. Then there's flooding. Yeah. It's a challenge. Mm. And yeah. if it rains too much, the river will just carry it through. They carry the building and everybody away. Mm. Uh -huh. And so telling somebody, you don't need to build here. The person thinks you are, try you are worrying or putting stops, impediments. Mm -hmm. He will try and put it there. When, when the rains come, then he says, somebody come and help me. Yeah. I will say, I told you, you <laughs> didn't listen. Uh -huh. uh, what I would like to add is, in trying to implement Integrated Water Resources Commission, let's give attention to the role of indigenous knowledge. In the past, the World Bank has acknowledged this in, in one of its publications, I think 2009 that in the past, indigenous knowledge and traditional customs have played a key role in conserving natural resources, especially water. Mm. Today, they are not recognized in many large-scale fora. It is time to bring it back. Let it be part and core of the implementation plan mm. so that what we knew already years back related to our tradition and custom, we can put those practices as part of implementation strategies to get the integrity, ecological integrity of water bodies back. Wow, that yeah. sounds a great challenge and very inspiring. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome.